Hey, my wonderful drama kids. I got a new setup. Huh? How about that? All right, so today we are going to be going over some more notes. Uh, This week, actually, we're going to be going over more notes of theater and how it's changed from the Middle Ages now until about 1800 or so. A little bit earlier than 1800 is where I will stop. These are big swaths of time, right? From the dawn of theater, we talked about like the dawn of human history up until about the Middle Ages, which is like the 12, 1300s. And now we're talking about four or 500 years. So again, this is just a crazy flyby overview. If you are really interested in this, I strongly recommend that you do a lot of research on your own. It's really, really interesting seeing where theater has come from and can kind of give you, you know, more of a context about why we do things the way we do and, and where theater came from. Maybe think about where it might be going next. Might give a little more context to those other forms of theater that we studied before this about how theater now is much more about you know playing with your idea your concept of what counts as theater a lot of those performance art things that's what they're going for is they're getting you to question well what does it mean for something to be art what does it mean for something to be theater because as we'll see there were a lot of very specific definitions and often it revolved around who was legally allowed to perform somewhere and we'll talk about that in these notes So you should 